hello everyone welcome back to ghelu once again so in this video i'll be continuing the remaining problems of exercise 4.5 i'm starting with question number 12 here we are given that a is a matrix and b is also a matrix of the same order that is 2 by 2 we need to verify that ab whole inverse is equal to b inverse times a inverse unlike uh, our guess where we would think many of us would think that ab whole inverse will be a inverse b inverse this is unfortunately not the case in case of matrices here in case of matrices ab whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse the proof of this is out of our scope and here we only need to verify so let's get started all right so let a is equal to 3 7 2 5 so we will first find the determinant value of a so we have determinant of a is equal to 15 minus 14 that is equal to 1 and we need to find all the cofactors so now a11 is equal to 5 a12 is equal to minus 2 a21 is equal to minus 7 a22 is equal to Three. How to find cofactors? In the previous videos, I had discussed it very clearly, and I won't go with the same discussion once again. So, therefore, adjoint of A is equal to the transpose of cofactor matrix that is five minus seven minus two and three. What are you doing? Is we will be finding the inverse without any row transformation or column transformations. We'll be finding the inverse directly by adjoint. So, therefore. A inverse is equal to one by determinant of A times the adjoint of A, and since the determinant value is one, we are getting the inverse of A as five minus seven, two and three. All right. Similarly, we'll be finding the inverse of B because it is required in this problem, both B inverse and A inverse. So let B is equal to six. Eight seven nine. So we have the determinant value of B that is fifty four. Six nine is a fifty four minus fifty six, which is minus two. And similarly, B one one is nine. B one two is minus seven. B two one is eight. And uh, B two two. Is equal to six, and uh, if I say you that uh, b to one is minus eight, all right, rather minus eight. Now, therefore, b inverse is equal to one by b determinant of b times adjoint of b. Now, adjoint of b from here we can find it out very easily. That is equal to transpose of cofactor matrix, so it is equal to nine minus eight. Minus seven and six, so B inverse is going to be minus nine by two, four, seven by two, and minus three, since it is getting divided by minus two. So finally, we need to find B inverse A inverse and consequently A B whole inverse. So let us first find B inverse A inverse. So now. B inverse A inverse is equal to minus nine by two, four, seven by two minus three times five minus seven minus two and three. I mean minus three here. So this is going to give you. Uh, it was three, right? I'm very sorry. It was three. So. <coughs> The product is going to give you minus sixty-one by two, eighty-seven by two, forty-seven by two, and minus sixty-seven by two. If you calculate, now we have found B inverse A inverse. Now we need to verify that this very result is the same as A B whole inverse. So let us name it by an equation. Let us name it by equation number one. All right. Now, let's get get back to find AB. Now, 
let us multiply the two matrices a and b so we'll be getting a b as 3 7 2 5 times 6 8 7 9 that is equal to 67 87 47 and 61 so therefore the determinant value of AB is going, going to be 67 into 61 minus 87 times 47 if you calculate you will be getting minus 2 now adjoint of AB what is the adjoint of AB once again it's very simple that is 61 minus 87 minus 47 and 67 the transpose of cofactor matrix so therefore AB whole inverse is going to be 1 by determinant of AB and times adjoint of AB that will be equal to minus half 61 minus 87 minus 47 and 67 all right now dividing it by minus half we will be getting minus 61 by 2 87 by 2 47 by 2 and minus 67 by 2 now this is a b whole inverse let us rename it by equation 2 so we can clearly see from equation 1 and 2 we see that a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse if you just tally the equation 1 and equation 2 you will be seeing that b inverse a inverse and a b whole inverse is the same hence verified all right so this problem is done now question number 13 is rather an easy one here we are given a 2 by 2 matrix that is 3 1 minus 1 and 2 and we need to verify that a square minus 5a plus 7i is equal to 0 we need to verify this and consequently using this we need to find a inverse so let's proceed on how to do this this is very easy for a to get a square we need to multiply a by itself so a square we get as a times a that is equal to 3 1 minus 1 2 times 3 1 minus 1 2 and that you will be getting as 8 5 minus 5 3 now just putting the value of a square minus 5a plus 7i will be getting it as 8 5 minus 5 3 minus 5 times a that is 5 times 3 1 minus 1 2 plus 7 times i that is 1 0 0 1 now you just have to sort it out as it is given if you insert minus 5 inside or rather 5 inside you will be getting 15 5 minus 5 and 10 Similarly, if you insert 7 inside, you will be getting 7007 by the properties of matrix multiplication with a scalar. So, you see 8 plus 7 minus 15 is 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. Minus 5 minus of minus 5 plus 0 is once again 0. And here 3 plus 3 minus 10 is minus 7 and plus 7 it is 0. So, it is equal to 0 matrix. So, hence a square minus 5a plus 7i is equal to 0 all right now let us find a inverse with this how to find a inverse see there is a technique we need to post multiply the whole thing by a inverse now what is post multiplication let us deal with it with it there are two things in matrix that is post multiplication and pre multiplication suppose there is a matrix a if i want to post multiply this matrix by any matrix that will be a times b but on the other hand if we want to pre multiply this matrix by any other matrix suppose c we, we need to insert c before this so 
B is post multiplied to A and C is pre multiplied to A. Where does this concept apply? Well, since in matrix we clearly know that product is not commutative in nature, that means AB is not equal to BA. So there comes this important concept of pre multiplication and post multiplication. Anything here, if you assume the matrix B, then A is pre multiplied here, and in this case, A is post multiplied here. Alright, and this too brings the difference. So similarly for finding A inverse, we will be post multiplying the whole thing by A inverse. Why so? Let us see. So post multiplying by A inverse, we get here it is A square. So A square times A inverse minus 5 of A times A inverse plus 7 of I times A inverse. That is equal to 0 obviously 0 multiplied by a inverse is 0 so see a square is a dot a right and uh, a a square dot a inverse is equal to a dot a times a inverse so we can say that a dot a inverse is the identity matrix or we can easily write, write it as a and here a dot a inverse is i and i times a inverse is a inverse that is equal to 0 so basically a inverse is equal to minus 1 by 7 times a minus 5i all right so from here we can easily get a inverse to be 1 by 7 times 2 minus 1 1 3 if you calculate just a minus 5i like this so this is a inverse and that was the result of this all right now let us keep it up to this today and in the next video I'll be discussing from question number 14 onwards. So this is the end of this. Thank you very much for watching this video. For any doubts, please comment in the comment section. I will reach out as much as possible. Thank you very much.